Hi everyone and welcome to the FEI's YouTube channel. It is Meg from Epic Event Ponies and Lucy from Footloose Eventing and today we're at London International Horse Show and we're going to go behind the scenes and we're going to take you with us. Let's go. And then we went on to watch some show jumping. What were we watching then? We're watching the Christmas pudding speed stakes, and I think we'll be able to pack the jump off in just a minute. There's, there's lots of chairs. There is lots, we need to head there over. Is lots of chairs. And, okay, so we've now made our way to the warm up arena. You can see behind me, we've got the household cavalry having a canter around, getting warmed up, ready to go into the main arena, which is just over there. In fact, the uh, Shetland ponies have gone in, I believe, the Shetland Grand National. So try and get some footage of that for you guys. So we are ringside at the Shetland Pony Grand National and as you can see behind me they are just lining up and I think the jockeys are about to get on. Now this as a child was my favourite thing to watch and I always wished I could be a part of the Shetland Pony Grand National but I'm going to channel my inner child through these guys today. Okay, it is interval time, so we've come into the enormous shopping village. It's huge! On a quest so much. to do a bit of shopping. Lucy, you're after a fluffy girl. I want here. a fluffy anatomical girl, so I think we're going to take you guys on a little bit of a mission. Bit of a wonder, but should we try on everything in between? It's yes. not a problem. <laughs> Let's go. Warm up 
It's actually looking quite calm at the minute, but I imagine it's going to get... It's going to up. It's going to get pretty intense. And <laughs> um, who are we here with, Meg? Yeah. <laughs> we are here with Ashley Harrison, who is a fellow FBI ambassador. <laughs> We've got a few questions to you about the police arts. Yep. So, I me mean, firstly, how big do you think this massive wall is going to go? Okay, well, I've never watched the police hunt. Earlier, I said about 1 metre 80, but apparently I don't think I'm far. I said that. 2 metres. So Bang on 2 metres? Yes. I'm going to say 2 metres. What do you say, Meg? You're going to go in the middle? Yeah, but that's a bit boring. I'm going to say 206. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I'm, I don't, <laughs> I'm going to change to 205. Only because... No, you can't do that. <laughs> Ashley's at 180. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. we've got 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, No, I ain't lying. I ain't hiding. I've been grinding, multiplying. Okay, so we have managed to not, not just ringside seats, but in the ring to watch the police on first riders coming in there. Okay, right, let's get some highlights for you. Comment down below how big this is going to go. The starting height is 180, so we're all wrong. Okay, let's see how it goes. On the first round. It's going up. And they go, how high do they go up? A brick. Uh, a brick. A brick's worth <laughs> How high? I reckon a brick's like 10 centimetres. I think we'll find out. Give us a minute. We'll update you. But it's already nail biting. to get through the first round clear because yeah. we got very unlucky at Hoys and then after it was just a bit of fun really and just yeah. a bit distracting Oh you were track. definitely entertaining it was yeah. really really great uh, to watch That's why we like it's just a bit of fun so. <laughs> And what's his stable name? So his stable name is Ollie Ollie! He's oh. actually half Shire Is he? No he's yes. not He's not he's oh, Shire, Shire. It's called Derek Mead. Oh. Wow. Derek bred him. Yeah, did he hunt him? Um, uh, yeah, my, my missus hunted him. Oh, really? Wow. 
I always said if he had a good old injury, he'd do a few hundred for fun. Yeah. Just to chill him out. He's oh, huge, he's, actually. He's massive. Um, and then Isaiah actually, Isaiah actually jumped and won the six bar 20 years ago here yeah. with John no Rennick. Way. John Rennick's husband. So, oh, yeah. Oh, oh it's in well your blood then, isn't Ollie. it, Ollie? No, he's so all a bit high. Let's see your oh, Let's have a look. First time here, uh, so wow. it's pretty exciting. Wow. Oh, well done. No, it's and pretty no, no, we just. Uh, normal little yard, juice train horses for fun, and it was nice to have a chance to come here, really. All the big boys. That was incredible. Uh, and Ollie's still buzzing. Yeah, he's oh, like, here we go again. Yeah, he's, uh, he's got the six bar Saturday oh, now. Oh, oh well, wow. we'll be cheering you on. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Hopefully, he'll make his dad proud and win 20 years yeah, on. Definitely. <laughs> okay, so that concludes the Thursday evening performance here at the London International Hall Show. Lucy. How's it been? It has been the most exhilarating evening of high octane jumping performance. Those horses, Megan, were just incredible. Just amazing. But the action doesn't stop there because you can tune in in, in actually a couple of seconds <laughs> to watch <laughs> tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> So we are back for day two of the London International Horse Show now. We're stood outside of the London Excel, about to go in. We've got an exciting day coming up. What have we got, Luce? First up, we've got the FEI Driving World Cup, which I'm really, really excited about. I can't wait for that. And hopefully we're going to find some of the drivers to actually talk yeah, to. Yeah, we can get a little sneaky interview little insight, with them. Yeah. And then later on this evening, we've got the FEI Dressage World Cup, which is going to be... <laughs> mega i literally cannot wait for that we were sat on the seats last night where charlotte was sat and i can't wait to see her in action yeah. very excited right let's head on in so we're here in the warm-up arena with the fei driving world cup just about to begin and behind us we've got the dutch team and we're going to try and grab them for a quick word before they, they go in like, yeah, yeah see what they're feeling they've just walked the course um, so hopefully the just driver a so we are here with Team Costa Ronda. You've walked the course, how's it looking in there? Yeah, nice. It's, yeah? Uh, it has some fast line and some technical hazards, uh, so I think it will be uh, yeah, a lot of fun. And you've had many a win. Do you fancy your chances here today at the London International Horse Show? Well, I swapped the horse from yesterday. Yesterday I was not so happy, but uh, now I drive uh, the good team again. So, uh, yeah, I, I go for it and uh, I hope to be in the winning round today. Yeah, and I was really wondering, the horse's positioning, does that change around or these horses are always at the back, these are always at the front or can you mix them up? You can mix them up, okay. but uh, especially the wheelers, you want them very uh, strong, you know, they have to pull the carriage and all the position. Uh, the leaders for sure, um, you know, they're so far away from us, you know, they cannot be spooky or something, you know, yeah. you go full speed towards the bridge and they have to, you have to just trust them to run on that. So, Amazing. especially in the front, you want the quick ones, but very cool. And the wheelers, you want the strong ones, you know, to pull the carriage. Ah, that makes a lot of sense, actually. I've not thought yeah. about it like that before. Amazing. Well, thank you so much. We'll be cheering you on. Good luck. Best of luck. You're welcome. Bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you.
we're back in the shopping village. Uh, still on the quest, actually, for my the my quest to find a fluffy girth. We've, we've got a warmer because we have found a lovely fluffy girth here, but you need a short one for a monoplast saddle. Short saddled. one. So, so uh, the, the quest, quest continues. continues. <laughs> Okay, so we've been granted access to the stables where we're currently at now. It's so bizarre because we're literally in the centre of London. In the middle. <laughs> Just but there are hundreds of stables. There's horses walking by behind us. So we're gonna head down here and hopefully see the Shetland ponies from the Shetland Grand National. Well, I think we were thinking, where will the Shetland ponies be? But the, the trail of tinsel is leading us. <laughs> we'll just follow right it. Hands on Greta and we'll so, show you when we get there. <laughs> Christmas. So we're here with all of the tinsel and wrapping paper, just absolutely every Christmas decoration you can think of. And more importantly, some Shetland Hello. racing ponies. Hi. You guys have been in the Shetland Grand National and uh, by the looks of things, doing quite well. We've got some rosettes here. Mm. So we're here in the stables and we've met the lovely Molly and her pony Ninja, who's kindly let us have a little meet and greet with him. Now how's he been going Molly? Um, he was amazing, yesterday we came first and he came second. Oh, wow! That's amazing. Well, that's now I have to ask about these stables. <laughs> Did you decorate this yourself? Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing! Literally Did the four the lollipops. Balls. It's not even one car, yeah. I was going to say, it's literally is there, in the is there a competition for the best stable? Yes. And are you going to the chance? When we does haven't it get, done it yet. When does it get judged? We're not sure. I'm hoping we can speak to someone and put a good word yeah, in. Yeah, we'll put a good word See, in there. Because this is amazing. And how many, do you have a performance tonight as well? Yeah, at half six, I think. Well, we'll be there oh. and we'll be cheering you and Ninja on. <laughs> Ninja, you are awesome. Thanks. I absolutely love you. <laughs> there we have it, a brief tour of the stables, but now we've got to hurry back to catch the show jumping. After two days of searching, we've finally managed to find a girth, and you've not actually gone for a fluffy one. It's not fluffy, no. We have gone for a cool max, which is kind of, hang on, let me just, look at that sponginess. So uh, Lucy's just about to purchase it. Are you happy to purchase? Only $34.99, so yes, what I'm very happy. a bargain. <laughs> so we are currently here watching the warm-up for the last few horses. None other than Charlotte and Oh, Hanks. look, there she is behind us. Just there. <laughs> <laughs> so they're warming up for the FEI Dressage World Cup. But this is actually the second round, isn't it? The first was yesterday, and we did we did watch a bit of that yesterday as well. We, we did watch that, and Charlotte was actually the reigning champion yeah, she won. of that yesterday. Is so she going to do it again? I don't know. With this level of dressage, it's a bit different to what we do. Oh, there's completely. There's completely different. multiple judges. Many a movement. Yeah, <laughs> multiple judges, many a movement. But it's actually been really interesting to see how they warm up in this warm up. So they're walking their horses for. Know, like 15, 15, 15, 20 minutes. 15, 20 minutes, getting yeah. them all loose and supple. And then and a then, lot of stretching before yeah. they actually, there's not that much time when they've actually picked them up to the, yeah. the full kind of test level, is there? A yeah. lot of kind of stretching comes So it's been, we've nice. learned, we've actually been sitting and yeah, learning. Sitting and learning. Which sitting and learning quite a lot. So hopefully, in a minute, we will nip over and watch Charlotte absolutely smash it. I mean, I, I have no doubt that's yeah. going to happen. See her. See her just walking across there. Very exciting. All right, we'll see you in there. In a minute. Moment tonight. They led me to you. Every single time you look at me, I lose it too. Why don't you come sit next to me? Let things happen naturally. Like it used to be.
that just about draws a close to our wonderful time here at the London International Hall Show. It has been incredible. What was your highlight? So, so good. I actually really enjoyed the FEI driving. That was amazing. And seeing it it's, so up close. Yeah. And obviously, another highlight was seeing Charlotte absolutely smash it out of the park yeah. on Geo. Spoiler, she did win the FEI yeah. Dressage <laughs> World Cup. A whopping 89%. Oh, like, if we put that into eventing terms, that's 11. That's a score of 11. <laughs> Absolutely wild, but it was incredible oh, to watch. We so, really, so really good. enjoyed so, it. So, we want to know, what other FEI events do you think we would enjoy? There's a long old list, so do comment down below. If you'd like to see us at another FEI event and doing a similar kind of thing, comment down below and we will uh, maybe try and uh, go there for you. But for now, guys, we really hope you enjoyed this vlog. And I mean, if you did enjoy it, make sure you give it a like, leave a comment and uh, make sure you are subscribed to the FEI YouTube channel. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you have any questions, just leave them down below, but make sure you let us know what events you'd like to see us at next. See you soon. Bye.